Hi again. If you're a subscriber or you've been keeping up with my videos recently, you'll have seen that I posted a video about my one year fitness journey. If you haven't seen it, go check it out if you want to. So since that video was made, uh, I've been feeling a bit better about my physique, but I've been eating too much sugar. I know that I've been eating too much sugar for a while, so it's time for that to stop. I've been addicted to chocolate pretty much all my life. I don't ever remember a time that I didn't love chocolate. Uh, even as a kid I was always eating lots of chocolate and the problem with that is your energy levels can fluctuate quite a lot. You might not even realise it, you could be eating lots of sugary things yourself and not realise that the, the energy levels are fluctuating because of your sugar intake. Um, I would often feel tired during the day and I didn't know why, you might be experiencing that too. So rather than cut down on sugar I thought okay maybe I should just go cold turkey and stop altogether. So it was out with the bad stuff and in with the good stuff. I did allow myself a little bit of fruit each day though. Uh, this is because our bodies are designed to take fruit in differently to process sugar. Um, the sugar that gets released from fruit gets metabolized into the bloodstream at a different pace. So your energy levels are much more stable. And plus, fruit is densely packed with really good nutrients that our body needs. So I allowed myself about one to three items of fruit each day, kept it very minimum. Uh, the rest of my diet consisted of vegetables, lots and lots of, lots of vegetables, uh, nuts, seeds, a little bit of meat, lots of fish, um, very, you know, just very healthy diet. Uh, and what I noticed by doing this was I didn't realize how much my sugar intake had grown. Um, when I started it, for the first three days I had a headache and that headache got progressively worse. It wasn't super painful or anything, but it got pro progressively worse until the fourth day when it finally disappeared. Well, I didn't really have any other symptoms, uh, withdrawal symptoms. The only thing that I can think of was a bit of trouble sleeping. I did also notice that I started to gravitate more towards uh, carb-based foods like crisps, potatoes, um, yeah, anything carby like that. But once I'd eaten everything that was in the cupboard, uh, I was able to keep that to a minimum too. And by the way, in general, I think just keeping the foods that you want to avoid out of the cupboard is a really good way to resist temptation. Uh, a good example of this actually was during this challenge, I found a little piece of chocolate at the back of the fridge, just a few squares. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was there. And I, for a moment, I actually went in, grabbed it, and then uh, resisted the urge to, to actually chow down on it, put it in my gob and then spat it out and was like, no. And then kind of got, gave myself a, a pat on the back for having some good willpower to do that. In fact, I was really surprised how well my willpower held up uh, when it came to sugary snacks, especially when it came to visiting my parents because their cupboard is just full of sugary snacks. It's like a sweet shop. So what were the benefits? Well, by week three and four, I really started to notice a difference. Uh, my energy levels were much more stable and I just felt better in general. Uh, my mind felt clearer, less brain fog, and by the end, I pretty much didn't have any sugar cravings at all. Uh, if I seen chocolate, maybe I was still slightly tempted, just probably out of habit, but, but I didn't crave it the way I used to. But probably the most noticeable of all was uh, needing less sleep. I was really surprised that I would wake up more refreshed but my sleeping hours were reduced. I didn't need as much sleep, which, which was really surprising. Um, probably about half an hour to an hour less each night, which if you add that up over the course of the year, that's like a lot of extra waking time. So was it worth it? Yes, it was definitely worth it. Really enjoyed this challenge. I would encourage everybody out there to try and do a challenge like this. I was really surprised at the results. I didn't expect it to be that drastic. Um, my energy levels are so much better now. Like I said, better sleep. It's It was definitely worth it overall. Um, but will I be going back to sugar? Will I be eating sugar again? Yes, I am actually gonna eat a little bit of sugar each day, just a tiny bit, because I think that the things that you enjoy in life shouldn't be completely cut out. Uh, we only get one life and it's important to keep the things we enjoy in our daily routine as long as we can keep control of it and keep it to an absolute minimum. So that's what I'm planning to do going forward. Um, maybe some days I won't have any sugar at all. 
I'm going to be much more conscious about my sugar intake. I definitely won't be going back to eating like full bars of chocolate each day. I know that for sure. Uh, so yeah, overall it was definitely a success. Um, I'm doing a fitness challenge at the minute where I do five minute workouts to see if you can still build muscle or at least maintain muscle. If you want to see that video, then hit the subscribe button. And if you've liked this video, then obviously like it, <laughs> hit the like button and hopefully I'll see you next time. Ciao.